Hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another flip through. I have these five standard size traveler's notebook inserts that I'm going to be showing you. Um, they're extremely colorful, lots of patterns, lots of textures, lots of textiles. I am calling these the Boho Naturalist Journals and the reason is because I wanted to go with sort of like a travel, not a huge travel theme, they each have a map in the center that folds out and actually one of them's upside down I realized so I have to resew it. Um, but there's like lots of animals, lots of florals, well, I guess not animals, there's birds, a lot of birds, lots of florals and um, also a lot of the pages, even though it's really colorful, they all have these like earth toned pages in them. So um, I took this off so I can just get straight to the flip through without having to open up my first journal but I made a little tag. These are really, really thick tickets. And so I thought I'd make a cute little like ticket ring type of deal. So they each get one of those. And I'm just gonna scoot these over here. Sorry, I feel like I feel kind of frantic. <laughs> Maybe I'm talking a little fast. This is my third time trying to do this flip through. So I'm <laughs> just trying to rush through it. But they all have a piece of sari on the cover that flips open to reveal this really pretty wallpaper. Love this wallpaper. Um, I was only able to save a small bit of it for myself. I think I'm going to maybe make a digital collage kit um, with some of this paper. But they each have some of that. I just think it's so pretty. And then it is a pocket. So there is a letter inside of each one of those. Um, another thing about these is they all use the same fabric but just with the placement of the fabric on the cover um, some of it is more you know this is the back and it's the front on this one and then vice versa so anywho let's get to it so here is a photo postcard this lady and the man who sold this to me, I don't know, um, I never heard this before, but I guess when the customers would go to get their photographs taken, the company would send them the photos uh, through a postcard. And I think that's super cool. So that's one of those. I made one of these tags for each one with some of this ribbon. I got that ribbon in an order. I don't remember who I got it from. Um, I just love it though. It's perfect in these journals. I think it was wrapped around some fabric or something like that. Oh, my baby's going up the stairs. What was I saying? <laughs> Here's some scrapbook paper and this folds open. Some butterfly pages. It's a really nice bit of sari there. More scrapbook paper. Here's a pocket. Here's another pocket. Some vellum. Tim Holtz. This is an empty coin envelope. I just decorated a little bit of washi. And this is from um, the blueprints that I that I have. Let's see. This is a really pretty paper card. See the gold there? It's a little bit textured, so you can open that in a journal. The inside, here's some birds. Uh, this is another tag that I made for each one of these, and this paper is really pretty. I had it for a, a long time, and didn't know what to use it for and it just goes really nicely in these this opens up as well some poetry pages in these here's the map okay this is the, the map centerfold this one's the western coast of the united states i don't know where i live let's see Here's Stockton. So I live right around here somewhere. Here's Merced. This is where I had to drive. Here's Modesto. I had to drive here <laughs> to mail out all my orders because we've all been like without power. Anyway, so they um, all have one of these and it just opens up. It's a little tag. Poetry pages. Here's one of my bird pages. So they each have one of these. more Tim Holtz. Lots of room for adding in your own collage or photos, letters, postcards, 
whatever you have. This is a really pretty pattern on it. And that is that one. So I'm just going to set this aside. And we'll move right on to this one. This one has that same blue and red, sorry, the letter here. And on the inside of this one is a little cabinet card. And it's just clipped to some Tim Holtz paper. Go in. Um, this is sorry here, and you can see the stitching there. It kind of acts as a little pocket, but it doesn't work extremely well. It's just so you could tuck something in there without the sorry being in the way. Some more poetry pages. Here's another one of those cards, but this one is a different pattern, a different image. I love this so much. It's so pretty. There's a pocket. Another one of these tags on some Tim Holtz paper. This is um, a list of trees and um, I'll just grab it myself. Butterflies, vellum, another empty envelope here. This is a little sorry tab. Handwritten sheet music with a pocket. Pocket over here. Another bird page. I'm not going to open that one up just to keep this kind of quick. Folds out. Out. But like I said, a lot of earth tones. So here's the um, Pacific Northwest. We have Washington, Oregon, Idaho's over here, and a little bit of Northern California. And this side also opens to reveal more of the map. It's another sari. Really pretty blue sari tab up there. Pocket, fold out pages. This looks black here, but it's like a really dark brown wood grain. Pretty butterflies. Sorry, over here. More fold out pages. And that's the end of that one. So this one here has a different sari fabric on the top. It's like a red rose. And this is repurposed, so you could see there used to be a jewel here, and I think there were jewels in a couple other places. But there's like a little bit of residual adhesive. And that was like that when I got this. Another letter stuffed in there. Oh, now I know. This is the one that's upside down. <laughs> but you get this cute little girl. This is wallpaper. This is just tucked here. This is a little bit of washi. I didn't do this in all of them. Maybe I'll go back and add it. I'm not sure yet. And this is so pretty. Like bright blue with a little bit of red. Oh, the lighting's not good. But this opens up. I like that pattern a lot. More butterflies. This is pretty too. I love it. Blueprint pages. Here's another one of these. Little fabric tab up there. Botanical pages with a pocket. Another tag. And more textiles. Little wallpaper down there. Vellum. Tim Holtz pages with some birds. More poetry. This is a pink glittery ribbon that I folded back and forth and ran the sewing machine over to create like a little fringe. So here is my upside down map of Canada. <laughs> so I'm going to redo this one so that you can see. And again, this opens up. Botanical pages, a little bit of wallpaper, more vellum, some map collaging up there. Sorry. Opens up. Here's another tag. Love that. It's so pretty. Black. My idea with the black was maybe it would help the rest of the colors like pop out even more, you know, with contrast. So that's why that's there. Okay, next. It do. What did I do? What did I do? There we go. Okay, here's your little tickets you get with this one. This is a smaller pocket than the other ones. Um, 
I just ran out, <laughs> but it still works. So here's that rose, sorry again. And the picture you get in this one is this little girl. And then that's another postcard and lunch. Harvey found the pots and pans again. This is why I stopped filming the last time because the baby was banging around. Beautiful butterflies. Sorry, here's another map. Another tag. Beautiful, beautiful. a delicate red. I tried finding more fabric like this on Etsy, but I have not had any luck so far. This is the sun over here. Vellum. Fabric tab, and this opens. Here's another one of those tags. Um, is this the one? Yeah. So on the other ones, the pocket on this page was down here, but I didn't want to cover up the images of the fruit, so... I folded it down instead, and you have a top pocket there. Doors. This is some sari, and it has these little like mirror dealies on it. It's another one of those cards. This is about house plants. Tim Holtz pages. More birds. And here we have Central America. Wow, I've got three of them in there. <laughs> Let's see if I can just careful. There we go. Okay. More tin halts. House plants. This is about pests that harm plants. Some more sorry. This is really pretty light blue. So I said, um, you know, I pointed out the sun on the other side. So here's a little poem about the sun. This opens up Oops, like this, and then there's the end of this one. So now we just have one more. This is the only one that got this particular sari on the top. It's like a nice yeah. orange with these pops of teal and red. So, same wallpaper, letter. And this is a little cabinet card that comes in this one. Nice and thick. And this little scrap of paper. This one folds down here also. Whoops. Folds down. So here's that tag again on some botanical pages. And another tag. Some sari. This opens up. And we got the butterflies. I really love the purple and the orange together. Another pocket and a little sari tab down here. Some more Tim Holtz pages, vellum, and another one of these. Poetry pages, page on house plants. It's empty. Ugh, I love this so much. Ah, I just want to be it. <laughs> I want to live in it. I want to be surrounded by it. This opens, and here is a wallpaper tuck over here. Some more bird pages. And then this is a map of Mexico. Like this. And then let's see. Sorry, and this is kind of like a top tack over here. The other side of the poetry pages. Beautiful blue. Pattern paper. Vellum. More tin holes. And look at these beautiful butterflies. They're so pretty. So that's that, guys. I hope you enjoy these. I love them. They're so colorful. Like, I like them so much. Let's see if we can get them all in. Yay! <laughs> all right, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a lovely day.